Okay, so I want to set it a user form in Excel that estimates black 1976 colon put and estimate Greeks. Okay, so we go to the developer tab, Visual Basic. Uh, we then um, right click and we want to insert a user form. And then we redimension the user form and basically basically want to um, estimate um, uh, the black model and using this type of construction here that I did in the previous video clip. So we have some more links here to the spreadsheet and to the to PowerPoint and also to um, the VBA code. Um, so, okay, so um, we go back into Visual Basic Editor and we have to set a number of labels. Now important in this construction is that um, <clears throat> we might have a look at the PowerPoint for a moment. Okay, so we have a look here, and uh, what I want to do is implement the black model. So we're taking this example here and just initially working out uh, a D1, a D2, and then estimating, well, we have a put here, and then subsequently we have a call value using put call parity or just using uh, the black model itself okay so this is the this is the black call using black 1976 okay so if you go back um, again the parameter inputs uh, we should note are f k or x or sigma t so there's one two three four five okay so we need to set that out okay so let's Go back into our uh, the Visual Basic and uh, take these labels and we just pull across. Okay, so we need to pull across four, five, because that's the necessary number. And we can redimension as we go along just to make better use of space. And there's five. And then we change the caption. So uh, in setting this out, we have F, so we have a caption, and we go F, and then when we, we return, F appears here, and likewise we can do the same in terms of, so the caption is F, next one, caption, we just want to change the caption, and for our purposes I'm going to call it uh, K and I repeat that exercise so I might pause and just fill the other side. Okay so the last one here I'm calling V and it's all done. So these labels are all uh, given a name right and if we like um, we could probably just make the uh, print a little bit better Okay, so we come down here to font and we might change just to 10 just to make everything a little bigger. And I highlighted everything, we might just make this 2 here left or maybe a little bit more 5. Okay, so that just lines everything together. F, K, R, T have a nice alignment here. Um, okay, so once those go in, we can then put in uh, we need to put in uh, text boxes so we can put text boxes in and again the same type so i'll do this but this is just basically for to enter values and then to have output as well okay so i might just pause this and set that up okay so i've put these labels in uh, these text boxes in uh, using the control um, and just highlighting left clicking with the mouse and then I come over to the um, I'm looking for left again I think if we put in a very big number so let's do 100 see what happens 
Okay, 100 seems to work quite well. Um, what about 120? Okay, and they seem to shift out together. So it's got a kind of a neat alignment. I'm sure I can improve in this. Uh, so what do I need? I need then as output more label boxes. And again, I probably need to um, realign. So to just to make what we have here a little bit uh, more space. And I want output for time value. Delta gamma, vega, theta, and rho for the call and put. So basically, uh, two columns of six text boxes. Okay, so let's just pull. And again, using the control button and left clicking on the mouse, control and left clicking, left clicking, and I just edit, copy. And then edit, paste, and I pull these down. So am I missing a box? I think I need two boxes of six. Okay, and again, I need to redimension a little bit. And try that again. Control, and we pull this down. And then again, um, we do we can edit paste again and I pull these down so I left click and just drag over and um, I probably need two more labels okay so let's go again okay so I'll just um, pause and reconfigure the boxes Okay, so I've highlighted these and I'm going to drag up. And this is all just about space management. And um, I'm going to do the same again. So using the control button and um, left clicking the mouse, I bring these across. And I have one, two, three, four, five. And in fact, I need two more uh, text boxes. So we can edit, copy, edit, paste, and just pull those down. Again, hopefully we have the space here. Okay, so this is not um, extremely well done. Okay, so I've done some realignment, and I need to put in additional um, labels. So, okay, so we, we ha need a call and a put. Okay, so we pull that those across. I'll just put here and then again another label and this one I changed the caption and it's a call and return or enter and then a uh actually to I put uh, I need a label here, so delete that and get another label. And we can put put value here and return. Okay, so we've call and we've put, and we might make the font here just a little bit bigger. So we can say 11. Okay, and then we need to have a time value, delta gamma, vega, theta, and rho down here along the side. So I'm going to, to do that now. Okay, so I've set these labels up and I just highlight and I can press control and left click and then I come back again to left and um, left we'll just say two or something and probably want to control the font here. So we'll give it a 10. And in the first instance, we'll highlight label 8, and the caption here is going to be time value. So it's just time value, the call and the put, so return. And then equivalently for label 9, delta, so we come down to caption, D-E-L-T-A, and enter. And that's, so I'll pause and fill those in.
Okay, and I'm just filling the last one here for for row or HO. So these are the Greeks, but I'm going to set them up for the black model. And then we need uh, two uh, command buttons. So we need, we'll put them here, I suppose. And in the first instance, we might just align these. Okay, so we'll look at left again. And we'll think of, I don't know, 150 perhaps. 150. And obviously it needs to be more than that, so probably 200. And 220 maybe. Okay, so now we need to give these function buttons uh, something that they actually do. Okay, so we need to align with each of these buttons. Uh, first of all, give them names. And then in addition, give them actual functions um okay so f in the first instance uh, we can double click right and keep in mind that this user form is called user form one okay and we'll just write in user form actually on load on load and user form one consistent with the name of the form, user form 1. Okay. And then we go back to the user form. And we also want to give this uh, command button 1 a name and quit. Because unloading the user form is equivalent to quitting. And then secondly, I want to set up, give this button a function. And basically, I want to take the data from these boxes and then output uh, time values of the call input and then the respective delta gamma vega tetas in row. So before we do that we have to give each of these uh, text boxes uh, particular names and I'm going to call the first one F and I'm going to call the second one K. So we come here and just say K and return and then uh, the third one I'm going to call R, lowercase r, and just return. And the fourth one I'm going to call um, T. So that should be T. And it's a capital T. And then finally uh, V for the volatility, or sigma. So lowercase v, and return. And I'm going to call the uh, value of um, okay so basically it's going to be kind of unusual notation but this text box I'm going to call black just black to denote black call and this text box I'm, text box I'm going to call delta p delta just delta and this text box here I'm going to call um, black and capital P and here I'm going to call this Delta P okay so try that again Delta P Okay, and the logic is really, I'm trying to to set out, give each of the functions, so if you like, I'm going to use this VVA code, which I've just saved in a Word document, and uh, black by itself is just the value of the call, and delta is delta of the call, and gamma is gamma of the call, and then when I come to the put options, I'm going to use black P for the black time value of the put, delta of the put, gamma of the put, and rho of the put, etc. Okay, so let's go back in to our application, and like before, I, I'll just fill these in. Okay, so I'll pause. Okay, so if, if you look at the text boxes, black, delta, gamma, I'm going to come to the side, black P, 
ثالثه هي ثالثه 